around 1880, the brilliant scientist James Clerk Maxwell developed the mathematical theory of electromagnetism. His theory predicts that electromagnetic waves propagate through the space at the speed of light. Many other scientists of the time were trying to prove experimentally the existence of these waves. In 1887, Heinrich Hertz, a German physicist, designed a series of brilliant experiments to demonstrate Maxwell's hypothesis. Heinrich's equipment was simple, a spark generator coupled to an antenna and a metallic ring set at some distance apart. Heinrich proposed that the electromagnetic waves generated at the antenna will travel through space and, if Maxwell's theory was correct, they would induce a current in the ring and a spark will appear in the ring gap. In this video, we make a simplified version of this famous experiment. This project requires a high voltage pulse in order to work, and we will obtain that pulse with a lighter like this. Here we have one that we have modified for our purposes. Let's open the lighter. Here it is. This is a piezoelectric element that produces a pulse of several thousand volts. There are these two wires that come from the piezoelectric and we have connected these two wires in order to be able to get the pulse. Here we can see the spark jumping when we pull the trigger. This is our setup to replicate Hertz's experiment. We have the spark generator connected to these two wires and the electromagnetic waves will travel through the receiving antenna. Here we have a neon lamp connected to the antenna and when the spark is produced here, the neon lamp will glow. Okay, I will pull the trigger to generate the spark. And we can see the lamp glowing along with the spark. We will now try a more powerful arrangement. We are using now a high voltage power supply. You can build this power supply following the link to the video that is now on screen. This power supply outputs several thousand volts. The output of the power supply is connected to this capacitor. The capacitor stores the energy and the spark will be more powerful in our transmitting antenna.